It's a beautiful song about being overwhelmed by the beauty of the Lord. I hope this week you had a chance to sit with God and see how amazing and how beautiful He is. Um, some beautiful things I've seen this week. First of all, this morning, the youth and the young generation coming early to sing and to praise and to, and to follow the readings. I think that was very beautiful. So we really love that. Yesterday was something very beautiful when we went outside to uh, bring food and clothing and toys to the people. And I saw all of you working together to serve the people. And one of the deacons came to me and said, there's a house we went to to give food and clothes. And they said, no. I said, why did they say no? They said, because they said, there's the neighbor over there. They need it more than we do. I thought that was amazing. One of our members said, don't give it to us today. Don't give us the food and the clothing. Give it to our neighbor. They need it more than we do. How beautiful is that? And then we saw today in all the readings how God is inviting us to a beautiful wedding, a beautiful feast. Even He's saying, I want you to have the kingdom of heaven. I want you to enjoy a feast with me, a life with me. And He's inviting us to enjoy that with Him. Our beautiful God is inviting us to the kingdom, the beautiful kingdom. Ate ambuye murongo ni wapuino kwa bas. Ambuye murongo ni wapuino mwopitilira kuona zamine wali kuchita za buino. Ngati ningakumbuke mailo lelo kuseni zambili za buino zamine ambuye murongo alikufika. Ngati taona ati ambuye murongo mailo bandu anani kuenda mu, mumunda kuendo pasa pasa zo pasa. Banafika panyumba imozi kulimatiko ni minangu banafika panyumba imozi. I noticed something else. When I was visiting in the community yesterday, I ran into a family and they just kept thanking me. Thank you so much for all you've done. And I'm thinking to myself, what did I do? I didn't do anything. And they kept thanking me and thanking me. And they were, just, they were going on and on and on. I was just like, I realized something in that moment that I've been missing. I lost a lot of focus on the people. I've been serving. I've been going out and visiting people and serving people, but I forgot the people of the service. Lost focus. And sometimes when we're in our journey with God, we lose focus on what's so important. What's the main part of our life? I know sometimes most of you here are in school or at work and are so busy and it's so easy to lose focus. Is that true or not? How many of you lose focus sometimes? Yeah, most of us. It's easy to lose focus on what's the most important thing of our life. And I think that that's something I realized last few days. But then I remembered our theme verse. I want to see if you remember it. Our theme verse kind of brought me back to the, to the most important thing. In Psalm 27, verse 4. Let's open our Bibles together. Psalm 27, verse 4. Let's say it together. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that I may, I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Behold the beauty of the Lord. Let's say it one more time. One thing I have desired of the Lord, that will I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to So I just realized something. The most important thing is focusing on the beautiful things God has been giving us every single day. The beautiful people, like we said. And we're too busy running around in our life to realize how amazing and how beautiful God is. Today, all we kept seeing from God is, I'm inviting you to the kingdom. I want to be with you. I love you. I want to be married to you. Do you want to be married to me? That's God's, that's God's spirit today in, in the church. And I hope all of us can see how excited God is for us. And I hope we can be excited to behold His beauty and to behold this beautiful life with Him. Surprise. 
ndi za minute achoko kamba hapo za kuti ife tikumbukire ntawi zonse kuti ife tikale mnyumba ya mbuye mulongo ti sakile ubwino wa mbuye mulongo so za ubwino za mbuye mulongo afuna ife lero tikwatiliwe kuli eve ni ubwino wa mbuye mulongo atitana ife otikale kukwatilana ndi eve ambuye mulongo so tifuniko ziwa ati ukwati ni watu ndi ambuye mulongo so you're probably asking okay bwana you're speaking about big things that beholding the beauty of God. So how do I do that? I'm sure that question had to come to somebody today. How do I behold the beauty of the Lord? Because Abuna, you said so many things. Well, let me tell you about a story, okay? Let me, I want you to pay attention to the story. There was a guy a long time ago, a very rich guy, a long time ago. He wanted to get married. This is before the internet. It was a long time ago. So what he did was, to get married, he put an ad in the newspaper. He said, wanted wife there's a true story by the way wanted wife he put it in the newspaper okay don't try this guys okay don't try this okay so wanted wife he put it in the newspaper not knowing what to expect true story there was a response many of them but he liked one of the responses her name was jennifer and he kept going back and forth so he would write her a letter and then she would write him a letter and they would go back and forth for weeks and months writing letters to each other and it was really a, a love story in the making and all of a sudden he said i want to meet you so she's okay so they made a time she got on the train back then there was no airplanes she got on the train and she came all the way she comes out of the train jennifer and the guy saw many people coming i said jennifer and she turned around and she said how do you know it was me I never sent you a picture. He said, I knew from your letters it was you. I realized the way you're walking, the way you're talking, the way you were moving. I knew it was you. He said, how do you know from your letters? But there's no picture. But I learned so much about I fell in love with you from your letters. To answer your question, how do you behold the beauty of the Lord? Is in the beautiful letters the Word of God. You want to fall in love with the beautiful God? You got to fall in love with His Word. When you, when you keep reading it, you're going to get a picture of how amazing, how beautiful, how forgiving, how compassionate God is, how holy God is. You won't have to, get, you won't have to see a picture of Him. You will know Him. And I think that's what I want to challenge you today. I want you to behold the beauty of the Lord, how beautiful God is, by beholding the beauty of his word at obwino wa mbe yesu kristo oka obwino wa mulongo uli mmalembo yake amene tilikuverenga ntawe zonse at bapasa chisanzo kweze munthu wina analemba banali kulembera na kalata na mukazi wina wamene swana ali kuzivana nichachi nachitika banali kulembera na makalata swana onane pamene anabwera uja mukazi uja chinapeze kati uja mukazi anazivika kuli uja mundu, kupanda chani, kupanda kuonana. Wala muuza ati, iwe sindiwe jani, ati waniziwa buwanji, ati kupitila makalata ya mene ya jani, nari kuvelenga. So chimozi mozi na ife, nga tifuno ona ukwino wa mbe Yesu Kristu, ni chancha metu funiko chita, tifuniko kuvelenga mao ya mungu mtawe zonse. Tentu one mao yake, tizamu ziwa Yesu Kristu, tizamu ziwa ukwino wake. So tifuniko ziwa ukwino wa Yesu Kristu, kupitila mao yake. Here's the challenge. All day, we're fixing our eyes on so many other things that we don't have time to fix our eyes on the beautiful word. Let me read you something from St. Gregory of Nyssa. He says, Fix your eyes on the infinite beauty of God and you will discover something new and beautiful every day. I think our eyes are fixed on our problems, even our sins, even our work, our pressure, our stress, all of us, even for me, service. But all of us need to fix our eyes on the beautiful Word and the beautiful God. The more we do that, I'm sure it'll take care of all the other things that we're worried about. Abusa wapata chisanzo kapena muza mene wali kuchita Ife kapena ni manchito ya mene kuchita Koma ambie murongo Afuna ife tiangane pa ubuino wa ambie murongo Lati kuyangane pa ubuino wa ambie murongo Zose murongo asa konza 
Let me give you an example from this morning's readings on how beautiful the Word of God is. Open up your Bible to Psalm 119, 154, and 155. Yes, there's 154 verses, more than 150 verses in Psalm 119. Psalm 119, by the way, is one of the most beautiful chapters about the beauty of the Word of God. Please read it. Psalm 119, 119. But I want you to focus in on verse 154. Okay? It was this morning's reading in the Psalms. It says this. So Psalm 119, verse 154 says, Plead my cause and redeem me. Revive me according to your word. Very good. Revive me according to your word. Now look at verse 55. Next verse. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your statutes. You know what that means? Those who seek the word will be revived. That's from this morning. So some of you are feeling, okay, Abuna, I'm down, I'm depressed, I'm sad, I'm, I'm, I'm not happy with my life. Search and seek the beautiful word and God will revive. God will get a, he'll, he'll strengthen us. He'll revive our spirit that's down. So that's just one example from today. And by the way, read the whole chapter. It's so beautiful. So, even today, we, if you're here this morning, we were talking about Noah in Genesis 6. You know what it said twice? I never noticed this before. It said this, it said, we find it here, it says, Noah did all the things that the Lord commanded. It said it twice. Noah, he did all the things. Whatever the Lord commanded, he did it. I was thinking to myself, that's a man who knows how to search the beautiful word and do it. It's not just searching the beautiful word and say, wow, that was an amazing message. That was a nice message. No, it's searching the beautiful word, the Bible, and doing what it says. And Noah was saved. And God wants to save us. God wants to revive us. So what I'm saying to you, I challenge you this week. Look how many readings we have every day in the Bible. And we skip over, when is it going to be finished? When is it going to be finished? When is it going to be finished? I challenge you to pay attention to every word. And I challenge you to choose a book in the Bible this week and finish it. Now, if you're younger, I challenge you, if you're younger, to choose a small book. But if you're bigger, maybe choose a gospel. Choose something a little bit longer and finish it. But I promise you, you're going to see the beautiful, beautiful word coming to life, reviving you. I was sitting with Kiro all week and me and him been going back and forth. He, he finds something he likes, he shares with me. I, I find something I like, I share with him. And, I, and we said today, you know what we want to do? We just want to spend all day doing that. I wish we could just spend all day just sharing the Bible with each other, encouraging each other. It really lifts us up. So what I'm saying to you is whatever you're facing out there, whatever sin that's holding us, I don't want to focus on that. I promise you, when we hold on to the beautiful word, we're going to meet the beautiful creator, the beautiful God. It starts by beholding the beauty of his word, then we're going to know how beautiful our Lord is. Let's read, I challenge you this week, try to shut down some of the things you have to do and dig deeper and you're going to see how amazing he is. But Pastor Chisango Mubuko ya Umoyo ikamba pankani ya Noa Noa anachita zonsi za buino za mene ambuye murungo anamuza Atenti sakile ubuino wa ambuye so kristu Ero tikwanise kuchita Ngati kuchita zotel ambuye murungo tizawa kumanya Ero ngati wa kumanya Ngati kwanisa kuchita zonsi za mene Mwamena anachita Noa Noa anachita zonsi za buino Ero anamukumanya murungo in conclusion, I'm going to say something. This is a story that I was reading the other day. I thought it was really nice. There was a lady who had a miracle happen to her. It's a weird miracle, but I want to explain to you the miracle. She, she had an old, 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 old house. And in the house, there's a storage room in the house that hasn't been opened in, in 
and mid years, 50, 100 years, hasn't been opened. It's full of storage, full of ancient things. <clears throat> One day she said, I'm going to open it. And I'm going to clean out this, this storage room. So she opened the storage room. She started cleaning day after day. It turned into week after week. It actually turned into month after month. She kept cleaning every day for months until she could get everything out. Then she discovered something on the ground. It was like a, it was like a helmet, a hat. <clears throat> it's like a helmet for war. Someone who has been in war, they had a helmet. Anyway, she thought it was very interesting, so she took it to the, one of those shops that they buy ancient things. And she said, how much can I get for this? And the guy in the store took it and said, actually, this helmet is from an ancient warrior who wore it and he put gold all over it and it's worth 250,000 US dollars. Of course, the lady flipped out and went crazy and couldn't believe it. She found this, this, this thing in the middle of an ugly, dirty storage. She found something so precious. You're probably asking, what Abuna are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about, Abuna. What I'm saying to you is, if you want to see that beautiful, precious God, we're in a kind of tough world, aren't we? Aren't we in a tough situation here? We're going to have to go day by day, week by week, month by month, year by year, and dig and dig and search the scriptures and search out for God, and we're going to discover something valuable and something beautiful, and then nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. So when we behold the beauty of the Lord, like the psalm says, everything else will be taken care of. I told you the first day, the more we focus on Him and His beauty, I'm sure all the sins that are holding us, I'm sure all the addictions, all the worries are going to be taken care of. Our focus is in the wrong place. Let's fix our eyes on the beautiful Word of God. And we're going to discover the beautiful God and everything else will take care of itself. Let me say the conclusion verse again. Let's say it together. One thing, all together. One thing I have desired of the Lord. That will I seek. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord. All the days of my life. To behold the beauty of the Lord. And to inquire. In his... Let's pray for one another. I challenge you this week. Dig deeper. Search. You're going to find how amazing, how beautiful God is. Today, He's inviting us to all the wedding, all the paradise, all the beautiful life. I hope you accept. I hope I can grow in that too. And glory be to God forever. Amen.